wanna be with you always Cause that is what my heart says That's what my heart says I wanna be with you always You are my world in every place What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? You look pale. Oh, wait, let me saturate you. Don't know. We tried to make whipped coffee, and then we realized that we were trying to do it with ground coffee instead of instant coffee, and that's why it wasn't working. So you forgot an ingredient, didn't you? Hang on, I don't think that's the issue. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Wait. I knew it. No! Well, where is coffee grind? I mean, instant coffee. That's why. So, when we went for our groceries today, I picked up instant coffee. So the Aerochino machine did not work and I accidentally made this one like quadruple the amount. What are you doing? <laughs> so it took like 20 minutes. Here is the one that I think is a little bit more what it's supposed to look like, but this one's looking a lot better than it was. So it's like this color. Yeah, baby, this is good. There's a reason we're not supposed to drink instant coffee. Why is instant coffee? Like, Crack is central. It? Oh yeah. Why don't we drink it? Actually, it's really good. It's like foamy, so right? Oh, I was drinking the top. Oh. I think I'm cranky. Came out good though. Oh, a better look for matches. Before it starts to feel. I'm a big crank. You will be. She's a big crank. She's a big crank. She's so cranky. Girl. And a cranky world. It's 4 p.m. right now. I want to make pot stickers tonight, which is my favorite thing. I want my favorite thing to make is it gets very tedious, but it is easy and it's like very like almost therapeutic to do. And you just like put on like a show or like YouTube and you kind of just zone out and it's very easy and it's so good. Back when we were allowed to have holidays, Vinny's brother, Vinny, like everyone always like raved. So I'll show you guys how I make them in a little bit. I honestly think I need to just like sit on the couch and like be a potato for a little bit because I'm too cranky for life right now. And also Vinny's going to try and fix my trees. So I told you guys that Pier 1, they sent me this tree and it was completely broken. So then I was like, hey, it's really broken. Can you send me another one? And they sent me another one. <laughs> that was completely broken. Honestly, it's not really their fault. Like the pot itself, like they probably just shouldn't sell it online. The pot itself is very heavy and the tree's not. So it's obviously gonna like snap off in transit. So I emailed them and they made it right and kind of were just like, you know what, just keep them refunding you, call it a day because they're just so broken. But Vinny's gonna try and fix them for me later. Beasley Butt Palmer, you cannot have TikTok iced coffee. No, 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 no. So later Vinny's gonna try and fix them for me. So I have them for the outdoors but let's see it's 4 53 right now i think i'm just gonna be vegetable until six and that's when i'll start making the pot stickers it is april i think 16th or 17th here right now and i have been on mandatory lockdown from my salon like they ordered salons to shut down march 20th so it's been basically a month and originally we were going to be going back April 30th, which like I knew was not gonna happen, which would make it around like almost six weeks, I think of being off. And I knew we weren't gonna be going back then because other states aren't. 
and New York's like the worst. But yesterday we officially got the news that it's now until May 15th. And I don't even know if I should be confident that I'm going back then either because I feel like they're just extending it two weeks at a time to avoid panic. Even if we do go back May 15th, that's gonna officially be two full months that I was shut down slash not working, which is officially gonna be the longest that I've never not worked ever because the last time and only other time I've had this long off of work was when we had six weeks off for our wedding and honeymoon, which was a lot more, I would say a lot more fun, but we've actually been having like a good time on quarantine. Like I feel like that sounds bad, but like obviously what's happening isn't good, but we've been keeping really busy. I know a lot of people like feel like they can't like be productive and I feel like I've been keeping myself actually pretty busy so that's good but obviously to be completely off of work is what's stressful but I've been honestly since the first week or so I've been a lot better at like handling it just because I kind of was like this is out of my control everyone else is going through it and worry about it. it's gonna do nothing for me so there were some petitions on Facebook that were like deem salons an essential business and open them April 27th and I just do not think that's a good idea I don't know Listen, I obviously want to go back to work, but I don't want to go back to work too soon and then have to like be off again immediately. But I just wanted to let you guys know and update you guys. I try not to talk about the stressful stuff too much on my channel, but yeah, I just wanted to update you that you'll be seeing my face three times a week for another month. And then when I'm back at work, video schedule wise, I'm definitely going to be doing at least once a week, at least for the first month. I don't know how I'm going to be able to do any more than that. But yeah, that's why I'm gonna give you guys a heads up as soon as I know when I'll be able to go back to work. But as of right now, I'm at 98 clients and my goal is to, when we are able to go back to work, I want to do all the people that are on my list in one month, like that's my goal. Cause I just feel bad having people wait any longer than that. So I'm just like thinking how I'm gonna do that. I'll probably do so if I work 8 a.m. to 6, 8, 10, 12, 2, 4, that's five full colors I could do. So that's another thing too. It's like I know some people do only haircuts, can do like 20 people in a day, but I just do like full like baby lights, spoils, ombre, balayage, like full corrective colors basically. So it's five clients a day. And if I do that six days a week, it's 20 clients a week, and I have at least 100. Yeah, we'll figure it out. I'm stressing about it. Okay, it has been a little bit. I am in pot sticker attire, which is a baggy shirt, and my hair is up because we are ready for pot stickers. <laughs> Ripped coffee made me psycho. We're gonna make jalapeno popper pot stickers and like ground pork pot stickers. Usually you need wonton stickers, but they were out, so I got egg roll wraps, which is close enough. So for the ground pork ones, you're gonna need ground pork, garlic, scallions, and then sesame oil, rice vinegar, soy sauce, fish sauce, and I also got that's I don't need that. One of the reasons I like this recipe is because it's actually pretty cheap and easy to make in the sense that once you have a lot of the ingredients, they last you forever. These four bottles I got like a year ago or maybe like six months ago and they last a really long time because you only use a little bit each. So all the fresh recipes you really need to get if you want to make these too is ground pork, scallions, egg roll wraps, and then for the jalapeno popper ones, all you need is jalapenos and cream cheese and a beer for cooking purposes. So first what you're going to do is chop your produce. So in one of the bowls, you're gonna put in the chopped scallions. I didn't use the whole stock because we're making drunken noodles tomorrow, so I saved a couple for that. So you put that in one bowl. This is for the ground pork ones. And then all of these jalapenos, you can use less if you don't like it mega spicy, but we like it mega spicy. So the cream cheese for the jalapeno popper ones, you're going to sit aside so it can get nice and soft. I'll probably open it. So I don't like to measure. I just kind of go by feel. I just put the ground pork in there. So now I'm going to take a fresh fork and I'm going to put in a nice big thing of minced garlic. I like a lot of garlic. So we're going to do like that much of fish sauce. It really doesn't taste fishy, but you do need like a tablespoon or so. I would say a slightly bigger dollop of rice vinegar, a good amount of soy sauce. Oh my God, I love sesame oil. And now you can kind of season it with whatever you want to season it with. So I'm going to go with my basics, which are red pepper flakes, garlic sea salt, some pink Himalayan salt, onion powder, and pepper. I usually call Vinny for this. While we wait for Vinny to be our mixer, I'm going to put the whole thing of cream cheese 
in this bowl. I'm gonna set this aside for Vinny to come down and mix it, but I'm gonna set up the station for the wonton wrapping. So I wanna split the stack pretty evenly. So there's different ways you could do this if you get the egg roll ones. I'm basically really just gonna fold them like a wonton, but they're just gonna be like massive. Next, you are going to fill up a bowl with water and that's gonna be to seal the edges. I'm gonna start with the ground pork one. So basically what you're going to do is you're just going to scoop a forkful in the middle of each one around this size and your hands are gonna get a little dirty. Darling, I'm selfish, wish I could love you. You don't tell me. When I do this with wonton stickers, they're smaller, so I don't know if the proportion is going to be correct. Like, my biggest mistake with these is making them too stuffed. So what you're going to do is you're going to line it with the water. And usually what I'll do is I'll line all of them with the water at once and then fold all of them next step. But I'm just gonna do it like this to show you guys. So we are just going to line this. So if I was gonna fold this like a wonton, which is like how I usually like to, is I'll fold them like that. So you could see it's gonna be like a massive wonton. And then I'll take the fork and I'll just like crimp the edges sometime. I'll like fold them over like this, just like that. Cute little wonton. Maybe fold the sides in a little bit. For this one, I'll try and do it like an egg roll just to see if I'll like it. And I'm gonna kind of fold it like a burrito. So I'm gonna take this, kind of wrap it. And let me just like kind of like scrunch up the edges like a little. Okay, he's cute. But I'm just gonna go ahead and put water all over the edges and then fold them up like wontons. You want my kiss, give me a reason. to fry these I'm just gonna put them on a clean plate and after this since we're dealing with raw meat I'm going to go ahead and switch out this foil this water bowl everything and have a fresh set for the jalapeno poppers even though we're frying them just to be safe so I'll be right back you Next for the jalapeno poppers, we're gonna do the same exact things. With this one, I like to use my hands, especially because it just doesn't really come off the fork easily. This is the pot sticker flavor that there's never any leftovers because they're just so freaking easy to eat. I just cannot deal with this dog. We have the outdoor rug, so surprise, that's the outdoor rug, in here because it's gonna rain tonight and we're not setting up the backyard until Sunday because that's gonna be the next like nice day here. That's why it looks like a disaster in here. But I think when we put this outside, we need to get a rug for like the entryway because she loves it so much how cute is she such a baby but that part is over and that is the most that's the most like tedious part i would say so now here's like the fun part for me anyway so i'm heating up olive oil on like medium to high heat these are the pork ones and those are the jalapeno popper ones so i always like to start with the pork ones basically we just pan fry it for like three minutes aside it's honestly really easy like once you get to this part it kind of just flies by you don't have to let money come between us I let it sit for four minutes each side because since it's an egg roll wonton, there's more pork filling in it. So I'm just gonna let them sit for four minutes each side. I'm sorry it's loud, there's a lot of oil spluttering. Looking at my squad, baby, I can Gucci, like I'm a rookie. Looking at me like, why do you go hard? It's goddamn, I'm on a cruise ship. I do whatever that I want. Better understand, cause I don't know where I should start. 
Level out the score, cause yeah, I've been a star. You don't even know, but baby, that's just how we are. That's just how we are now. And you don't even talk to me. I had to tell myself, don't leave. Baby, why don't you come with me? Hiking up that hill that sees. Oh my god, look at all my sauce. See me going crazy. Never end up like actually sitting and eating all at once. Every time I'm done with one batch, me and Vinny just like pick. First one's already done. Second one's right here. They always get a little burnt too, but I like them burnt, so just lower the heat if you don't. And then the last one is finishing frying. Then it's time for the jalapeno popper ones. I'm telling you, they're just so freaking good. Like, they're unreal. The pork ones are done. Now when we get to the jalapeno popper ones, I change it up a little bit. I change the heat to medium and they only actually go for like a minute and maybe two a side. One, because the pan is already so freaking hot from all the pork ones, but also two, there's no raw meat in it. So it just needs to be warmed up instead of being thoroughly cooked through like the pork one. So I usually will try and fit a little bit extra. I need to warm them up a little bit. Just like that. Pizza, yeah, yeah. That way we could lean away with all the people. Yeah, yeah. A jalapeno popper taste test. For me, not you. Would you talk to me? So happy right now because we've been trying to put the tree back on the pot and I didn't think we we're gonna be able to do it but this guy figured it out for me. Andy man McGee over here. Yeah, thank you. It's awesome because he doesn't give up. Like if that was me, I would have given up like the first try, but he did it. He fixed it himself. It's a little slanty, but no, he looks amazing. This is my one pot from Wayfair. By the way, this is a sneak peek of the backyard, but I keep talking about this damn backyard and hasn't been nice out to do the tour. So I mean, I might as well just start showing you guys some sneak peeks because it's getting ridiculous. One of them made it for now, but I want to get another one so they're both white. Now listen, is this the most high quality of fake olive trees? No. Yeah. Did I want to spend $4,000 for a restoration hardware one? Also no. You wanna see what I do? Yeah, baby, show me. So I take one of these guys, the mm -hmm. same anchors that I drill into the travel, mm -hmm. and I shove it in there, so we just grip it in nice and tight, and I screw one end in there, Take another one. This one, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Yeah, how are you gonna do it? Um, that the second. Do we have? Was there drywall stuff? I think we have like ones for like quick repairs. So you're talking about the stuff that like we use for saddle? Yes. It is a couple hours later. Vinny went up to play his game for a little bit, so I'm just hanging out. I am crashing. But that basically does it for today's video. Kind of a low-key day. It's Friday right now. I don't think it's gonna be nice out till Sunday, but let's hope that it stays that way so I can finally get everything set up. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to subscribe if you are new here. Give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!